Welcome to Fridays at the Front. I'm Will. This is a collaboration between the Shenandoah Valley Battlefield Foundation and Civil War Digital Digest to bring you some great history out of the valley and encourage you to come here and see it yourself. I'm standing on the morning battlefield of Cedar Creek, October 19th, 1864. For the days previous, Colonel Doburn's division of the 8th Corps has been building earthworks along this line and fortifying themselves as best as they can. Now this road wasn't here during the battle, but when it was put in, it was done carefully and the earthworks weren't disrupted, so it shows the line pretty well. And Colonel Thomas Harris's brigade is here, one regiment of Pennsylvanians and three of West Virginians. There's also Monk's Pennsylvania Artillery and Brewerton's Battery B of the 5th U.S. Artillery in this defensive position. The night of the 18th, the men go to bed. Well, Thoburn sends a courier to Harris and says the Confederates are massing. Harris, who himself is sleeping in a Union ambulance, wakes up and wearily says, that cannot be so, and goes back to bed without waking his brigade or the artillery. It's a mistake because down this road is Bowman's Mill, and Bowman's Mill Ford is where General Kershaw is ready to cross the creek and attack, and he does the early morning of October 19th. It's gunfire from the Federal pickets that wakes Harris's brigade, and Bryan's brigade, which is under the command of Colonel James P. Sims, is part of Kershaw's assault, sweeps through this field up, and they hit Harris and Monk and Brewerton's artillery. The men make a valiant stand, but they're not ready for that crushing force. A Confederate writes that the Federals ran like chaff before the wind. Within 15 minutes, this position is compromised and the Union are falling back. Colonel Thoburn is killed in the retreat and they end up several miles to the rear, which is where we'll find them later in the day. Well, for this morning position, the Shenandoah Valley Battlefield Foundation has done a lot of preservation and it has a lot of great partners here. You see a sign behind me by Civil War Trails. There's markers further back by the National Park Service. This is a wonderful place to come and understand the beginning of the Battle of Cedar Creek. Come on out for yourself. We'll see you again.